On today's Domain Sherpa Review, we bring in Shane's DSAD team, we spend some extra time talking to newcomers, and we look at some domains on Namejet auction that our Sherpas want to bid on. Enjoy the show. Hey, Sherpa Network, thanks for joining us today. Um, today is a special DSAD Sherpa Review. Um, I'm Tess Diaz, executive producer of Domain Sherpa, and we are doing a Domain Sherpa review today um, where we get into the minds of successful domain name investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become better investors ourselves. We'll do our usual three segments to the review. We start learning what the Sherpas recently bought and sold. Next, we'll discuss in value an investor submitted domain name portfolio. And finally, we'll preview some domains going to auction soon at Namejet.com and whether the Sherpas think they're a good investment opportunity for you. Today, we have um, uh, Shane, why don't I introduce you first, Shane, the fearless leader of the DSAD blog, uh, and Josh Eisenhower. Josh, how many years have you been with Shane and DSAD? Uh, three? Yeah, three? Three or four, okay. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I know your blog posts, both of your blog posts and everyone else on the DSA team, shout out to Travis and maybe kind of to Aaron. Um, <laughs> um, we miss them and wish they could have joined us as well. You folks have contributed so very much for free of your own time, energy, and education to the, um, to the domain world, to the growth of so many domain investors. Thanks, guys, and thanks for being here today. Well, thanks for having us. And... Oh, sorry. And Andrew Rosner of Media Options. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Thanks for always being here. All right, guys, let's do this. Um, part one, we'll jump in. What's new Sherpas? Um, so, uh, I forget who's first. Sorry, guys. I think I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> great. I get, yeah, you sent, you sent me the... Uh, the sheet here, so I got it in front of me. Cool. All right. Um, go ahead, Shane. Tell us what's new. What What'd you buy or sell lately? Well, it's it's been a pretty good month. I, you know, I've written some posts on. I talked to others. If you have brand names right now and you're putting pricing that's uh, short of being a lot, they seem to get hit pretty good at Afternic and. I mean, emails. It, it was my best month ever since I've been domaining. Maybe not actual dollar volume, but. I sold a lot of names for 800, 1800, 3800 that I never thought would have sold. So uh, with that, that means I get to buy something. So I have a buy today and uh, hopefully it's in my account by the time this airs or I'm going to look like <laughs> Is, <laughs> Are you anywhere. buying a new tractor with it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, I've, I've got my eye on something, but it's not a tractor. Um, it's, uh, so I bought yourlogohere.com. Your logo here. I, I like that name. I was bidding on that name. I, I was I was early bidding on that name, and then I. It's been a crazy week, so I I, I basically missed the end of all the auctions I wanted this week. Um, but I like that name a lot. I just think that that's like the ultimate like swag brand. You know, it's like you know, put it on a logo, put put a logo on a mug, put it on a t shirt, put it on a hat, put it on a you know. Uh, vest, whatever, the, whatever, you know, your logo here. The other thing I thought about, the first thing actually that came to mind when, when I saw that name was, do you remember, this is like a bazillion years ago, like the very beginning of the internet, there was that guy that made a million dollars, he had the million dollar uh, landing page. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like each logo was one pixel or something. Yeah, it was a million dollar homepage. Million dollar homepage.com and it was like literally each logo or I think you could put anything you wanted. You, you, yeah, you could buy as many squares as you want. Yeah, it was, a, it was, for, a, it was like million, ten dollars, and it ended up a million dollars if the whole page got sold out. Yeah, I think it was a dollar a pixel, and it was a million dollars, <laughs> a million pixels, and or whatever it was, something to that extent. And uh, he sold it all out. It was sold out. And uh, I was thinking, like, oh, your logo here could be like the next million dollar homepage. Um, Are you offering to put your logo there? <laughs> Where? I think you have your first customer, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can drive enough traffic to it and make it go viral, I'll put my logo there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, how much do you think you paid for it? 
Uh, man, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say $500. I don't know. I don't remember what I put in as a proxy. I, I must have put in a $250 or $350 proxy on it. And then I know I got bid, outbid pretty early, I think. Um, I probably went even higher than that. I, I'm going to say, uh, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 500. I, I don't know. I don't know where it went. Josh, you laughed when Drew said uh, 500. What do you think? So you know? I, I didn't actually, when, when Shane first said it, I was kind of like, uh, uh, but it, as you guys talked about it, it grew on me a little more, but um, I, so I think there's a lot of, there's so many options in that, 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 that world, you know, like we are talking about printing at it, you know, it could be low, it'd be a local type thing. I think we're, it could turn into a bigger company. I just wasn't seeing it at first. I see it now better once you guys talked about it, but I was going to say 500. That was on the tip of my tongue. So I'm going to say 501. <laughs> oh, the price is right. Yeah. Uh, 600. Right. I was, <laughs> I'm thinking 500. So. Speaking of prizes, um, today, uh, later on in the show, we are going to give our listeners an opportunity to win one ticket to NamesCon, and we will be doing that the next, uh, for three reviews in a row, so this one and the next two reviews. So, um, I just thought that sounded just right to say now with your little price, price is right. Okay, so 500 and now 600 but for Josh. What would you pay, Sh uh, Shane? So I paid two grand, I paid 2,000. Oh, wow, yeah. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. If you ever go to a, con or a trade show, every single person selling promos puts your logo here on their yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, your logo here, yep. Every single one. So you throw a .com on it, every promotional company in the world gives you free advertising oh, Drew, you just off. i guess drew just couldn't couldn't take the news yeah. he's yeah yeah but uh and then the other thing is there's no trademarks on it so there's no trademarks on your logo here so nobody owns that trademark so i can apply for a trademark and have that on there and then just type it into google there's billions yeah. and billions and billions yeah. it's the ultimate of like demonstrative it's like the ultimate slogan for like demonstrative marketing Right. And it's a we it's a all talk about phrase. Pardon me. I said it's a marketing common phrase that I didn't really yeah. know about. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, you just that's the gen that's the generic of what every promotional company puts on there because they don't know what to put, so they just put your logo here. So like, hello, my name is that kind of thing. I mean, yeah. is it affiliate program? I, I, we all talk about buying something and building it out, but you could take a normal promo company of like Johnson's Promo and change the name to yourlogohere.com and change it dramatically on the internet. So it's to me two grand to steal. And 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 how I knew that I got a pretty good buy is I got emails from other people within you know GoDaddy and other people said hey that was a good buy and I thought oh now that yeah. I feel good about it yeah no it's a great it really is a great name it, it, it caught my eye right away when I was going through the list yeah and uh, I was out and, and honestly somebody cost me probably that fifteen hundred dollar difference between what you guys said and what I paid yeah but, you know fifteen hundred dollars when it's all said and done on that name to the company uh you know I could that's nothing. It's peanuts. So we yeah. we spent two grand on a lot worse stuff. I promise. That's really good. Have you set up? Tra don't say anything about traffic, but have you set up traffic monitoring yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't gotten any of that yet. I haven't. You know, I'm going to get it. The other thing is, I'm going to try and work on you know the uh, Twitter handle. It's been not used for quite a long time. So uh, you know, you got to put together a package in this business. If you get a good name, you got to put everything together. Work on the traffic. You got to set up the email, check out emails that come through. And then of course, if you can ha throw a Twitter handle on there, there you go. Hmm. You buy everything, there's your package. Well, yeah. I like that. And I'm very curious about what traffic it already gets. Um, I <laughs> wonder maybe that should be our, uh, our NamesCon giveaway for whomever is closest in the comments if they type in what they think your traffic will be in, let's say one week so they can, they can get their ticket quickly. I don't yeah, know. What you guys think. We can at least do it by yeah, one or two weeks. We can see what a what a one week traffic is after we get it. It's like getting a safe though. A domain people say, oh, we had a safe party where we bought a safe and cracked it open, see what's inside. When you get a good domain, it's cool to open up the emails and open up the traffic and see what's flowing through the thing. Especially yeah. 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 Cool. Um, very interesting. Good. Good buy, Drew. What'd you buy or sell lately? Um. 
Blowfish.com. Buy or sell. You had to sold it. Buy. Buy. I feel like I've seen that one before. I yeah. think, yeah. I don't think so. I, I didn't have any record of it. Okay. All right, Blowfish. Josh, you go while I do a homework. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that's cheating. No, just, just my emails. Nothing else. I promise. I'm not going on the internet. So, I mean, yeah, I think it would make a decent brand, uh, but it's, I mean, it's a little bit more, it's, it's, uh, as, as far as open vessels go, it's a little bit more, uh, a little smaller of an open vessel than, than, than some other ones. Uh, I'm going to say, man, uh, um, 8,000. Okay. Um, what happened to Shane? I don't know. I think Shane's cheating. So we had to, no, I don't know. I'm sure he'll come right back on. 8,000 is a good guess. Um, you, you picked it up, right? You picked it up. With the, yeah, okay. Where did oh, you buy no. it? Uh, I bought it from a, uh, uh, basically one of these uh, domain flipper guys, tracked down the owner, uh, and then, you know, he made his margin and sold it to me. So I bought it directly from the owner, but with some guy in the middle. Okay. Well, we lost Shane. So how about this? Josh, tell us what you bought or sold lately and Drew can guess. And then if we get Shane back, we'll have him guess. All right. I sold, um, I just went through and picked one that I sold off, that, off of Afternick for a buy it now price. Um, it's walk silent. So walk silent.com. Okay, walksilent.com. Yeah. So do you mind if we hang on and go back to Blowfish? No, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's so yeah. Shane. I, my computer got so excited about Blowfish, it blew up. <laughs> well, that's not good for the value. I know. Drew, ever since Drew started complaining about his Apple computer, mine started going on the fritz. It was no problem until they started bitching about it, and all of a sudden mine starts going bad. Ever since, it literally had no problem until he's – so they said how bad it was, and now the thing's constantly going off and on. But it is seven years old. That's funny because Drew's problems have all been resolved. Sounds like he just shipped. Not, my keyboard has gotten, gotten so bad, I use a third party on top of my laptop keyboard. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh! Okay, okay, so what'd you what find out about, about Blowfish? Blow yeah. What did he say? Uh, Josh said eight grand. Hmm. That's. That's probably a fair price, but I will say because it's a one word brand that's at top, I'm going to say, uh, Drew's pretty good. I'll say six grand. What did Shane say? I say six grand. I mean, I think it's worth more, but I think that you're the marketer of the fish domains. You're the fishmonger. Jellyfish. I mean, you got them all. So, all right, here's the deal. So the only reason I bought it is because I literally just sold jellyfish.com and I actually felt horrible about selling it. And <coughs> coincidentally, at like within a day of selling jellyfish, I was offered blowfish. And so I said, all right, I'm going to take it. So I actually think I overpaid for it. Um, but there is some strong end user potential and it is a good brand. It's a great um, logo. It's got some interesting, yeah, great logo. And it's got some interesting dynamics uh particularly in asia if you if you you know if you start going down the rabbit hole on this name and so um i i'm i'm okay i you know we paid 30 grand and i think you know i'm okay with that uh, yeah you didn't tell I, if i would known you were flush with jellyfish money you know, <laughs> i would have been 15 yeah. if we hadn't <laughs> just sold jellyfish i i wouldn't have bought blowfish yeah that's how it works there's yeah you know what they talk about timing. It works on both sides. Yeah, timing is everything. Very sure. nice. Well, well, congrats. Good, good, uh, goodbye. And so, um, Josh, you mentioned you just sold, did you say? Yeah, sold. Walksilent.com. Okay. Walksilent.com. Buy now. Okay. Shane, what do you, what do you think? Well, with Josh, it used to, I used to have it pegged down because I knew all his pricing numbers, but he started moving them up because he's had good success. So it could be all over the board. Um, yeah, I would say, I will say $3,800. Yeah, it could be higher now. I think that before 
again, it, the nice thing about being partners with Josh is we get to share all this information of what's successful for us. You know, I, going alone in this business is tough. You never know whether you're doing things right or, you know, new strategies and having partners like Josh and Travis, it's great to bounce. So I've gotten to watch Josh's pricing. So I think I have a little bit of inside information, but he's starting to switch it up now. And now I'm, I'm screwed in this game. So I, I'll still say 3,800. <laughs> okay, 3,800. Drew, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to say 2,500. So 23, 26. <laughs> but it is, so that's a, that's a, a GoDaddy Afternic algorithmic price. I, I, I let them price a bunch of stuff just because I didn't have time to do it. And I was like, whatever, just price it. But so with that said, it, it's one of those that it's a, on a sliding scale that could have, I could have sold that from 1500 to 6,000 probably, you know, that I'm finding that, um, and I've always talked about how, you know, you put them at 999 or something, they move and they do move faster. But if, a, if a, even a small company is going to pay between, I, I think between two and five. And then if you drop below that, you, you do have a better chance of uh, a movement at the, to, somebody that's just looking to pick up anything but but there's that sweet spot where your, your returns are better because you're not you don't have to sell as many to make that so two to five is i think the for that kind of name you're just a random two word uh dot com yeah, yeah. You can always get more too. there's always anomalies right for, for any of this and, and how often do you reprice your names josh like when you after you've had let's say you've had success that you've had now do you go back and raise things do you change them not, I mean, not really. So you got too many names? Well, yeah. What I used to do at GoDaddy, like with the premium, because I used to sell the most at, with premium listings because that was like one-stop shop, right? Like I just, it was in my, my dashboard and I'd put a uh, buy now price. And I used to go through and then like, okay, I've had this for a while. I'm just going to drop it to a, like a set it on fire price, right? Like if somebody picks it up, great. If not, maybe I'll let it drop. So I, I still do that sometimes, but really the, the reason that the, the the names have the prices that they have on now at after Nick is um, because I just I, I had well I had some so um, uh, if there was an offer on it and, and like or or an inquiry and Uter Registry quoted a price that price is an is an after Nick um, oh. yeah so I'll upload I'll upload a bunch of names to them that's that, that had inquiries that they quoted and then but other than that it's the, it's the go GoDaddy valuation algorithm. Um, yeah, then go ahead and do that. Right, well, so there's two prices. There's like a the, the price that you see, like when when you're going through GoDaddy, is like the average price that they think that their algorithm thinks that it'll sell for. But then they have another like multiple multiplier of that too that it could sell for. So I just go. I went with the higher one, and then I, my plan was to go back and change adjust prices but I haven't done that yet. <laughs> my goal, I just wanted to get them up there. Like I was tired of having all these names without prices on them. Like this type of name, they, this type of name needs to have a price, right? It's not, I mean, there's a, like I said, there's anomalies and we can get away with something that sell it for 20 grand, you know, by accident, but generally, so the quickest way for me to do that was to have them do it. Yeah. How about, that's, yeah that's good. Do, Drew, do you do any buy it now after Nick's? I know you, that's not your thing, but do you do um, anything? on the lower end so basically recently um, I'm doing that more and more but I'm not really doing it systematically I'm basically doing it as we get price requests um, uh, as we get price requests I'm, I'm, I'm putting buy it now prices on like the smaller names I'm not pricing one word dot coms I'm not pricing three letter dot coms um, you know I'm not pricing like the really good two words but everything else, you know, let's say, you know, 50 grand and under, I'm, I'll, you know, if we get an inquiry, I'll put a bite now. Yeah, it's, it, it's, I mean, yeah, you have to on those lower ends. You don't have to. And I will say that it, it, it materially does increase the sell through. I mean, it just, people will click that buy it now and that's it. You know, you, we, we talked about this and I wrote this in the blog, I don't know how many years ago, but we sat down and said, if they can go to GoDaddy, and look for a name or any place, and it has a price just like any of the other domains, whatever it may be, and they can just click it and buy it and have it in their account, they're going to buy more names. Plain and simple. That and was, the, 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 concept, the concept isn't just 
specific to the buy it now. It's, it's how many steps can I, can I take away, right? How many, how many steps can I take away out of this buying process? And, and you'll sell more names. And that manifests itself as totally. buy it now usually. But that's, that's what hangs people up is that all these extra steps. I, I, I really like to remind people that like as much as we all like to be on this show and bloviate about domain names for hours on end and spend, you know, more probably, you know, you know, varying degrees of hours of our lives, uh, you know, researching domains and talking about domains and just, you know, emerging ourselves in domains. The rest of the world hates us. The rest of the world hates domain names. The rest of the world doesn't give a flying fuck. And as the sooner, the faster, the more easily, the less they have to communicate with us, just the more seamless you can make the purchasing process for a domain name, um, you, it, I feel like it exponentially, like with every step you remove, you're like exponentially increasing your, your um, yeah. chances of sale. At yeah. the higher end, everything changes, right? Because it's more, you know, many times it becomes more of a need as opposed to a want. You know, you've got bigger economics involved. You've got more parties involved. You might have, you know, outside influence from investors or, you know, security or whatever. You've got different dynamics. But for the average medium or small business, it's like, I don't want to negotiate. They don't want to learn about domains or find, figure out if it's a secure way to pray. They just, they just want it to be like, set it, forget it, be done with it. You know? Yeah. It. It's the car max thing where they don't want to, yeah. they don't want to negotiate with a car dealer. They just want to buy the damn car. Yeah, well, exactly. and they can also, they, you know, you, they have this discomfort already in this space, but then they can, they, and they've got, you know, five apples that they can compare apples to apples. And then if your domain is an orange because it's a make an offer, they can't compare it with the others and they're already uncomfortable. So you want your domain to be an apple to be compared to the other apples um, instead of just making it more, when it's more complex, it's not like that's the only domain they could possibly get. At, at these levels. Whereas, you know, when you have a jellyfish, that's the only name you can get. You don't want blowfish instead of jellyfish. If you want jellyfish, you want jellyfish. Um, so. But half the time, they don't even know they're negotiating. They think they're buying it from GoDaddy, and that's just fine with right. me. If they think they're just buying a name of GoDaddy for $3,500, that's great. That's perfect. They've got more trust than I do. I, I will throw out the caveat that, um, I, and I still do this on most of my domains, if they come to the landing page and they're specifically looking for that domain, you have a better chance of, 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 of negotiating and drawing the process out. So somebody coming to you specifically and not through the registrar process is more likely to be able to um, tolerate more steps into it, right? So then you can, so like even though I haven't priced them on Afternic, if they go to a unit registry landing page, it's not priced. It's making an inquiry because they're specifically targeting that name and not browsing and then finding and you know, like, like Tess said, seeing the, they wanted to see this apple to apple, but those people are, they're taking the effort. They're already taking an extra step themselves to, to find something. So I'll humor them and then go change the prices on after they can raise them you know, <laughs> when they, so, but yeah, people, people don't know anything. I don't about know why they hate domainers right there. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, know, that, that's so funny because I was thinking I like this guy. <laughs> like you're a smart guy, Josh. So, I'm telling you, like the, I've sold domains with a price on the landing page. I've I, I, half of what they I, it sold for. Like yeah. I mean, crazy. You didn't even. It's, I'm like you spent ten thousand dollars and didn't type the name in. Yeah, you know, like crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, and, and it speaks to a lack of understanding about the industry, a huge discomfort. They don't even want to take that extra step. Then, yeah, let's remove every step we can. It's true. Um, well, thank you. Oh, yeah, thanks. Right. So let me tell you about the sponsors for today's show who support us in our mission to educate people in the domain industry. First, serious about online trading? Secure your funds. Keep your merchandise safe and use a company that keeps the buyer and seller protected the whole way through. That's escrow.com. Payments you can trust. All right. In the domain portfolio review, we take user-submitted domain name portfolios and provide 
honest and constructive feedback to the owners so they can either cut their losses, continue to hold them long term, or figure out a sales strategy going forward. Today's portfolio was submitted by Juan Gavira in New York City. Hi, Juan. Thanks for sending these over. Um, what we have are 17 dot coms, um, 11 are dot com, and then we have 2.co, 1.co.uk, 1.net, and 2.org. Um, so, um, uh, Josh, will you go first on this list? Sure. Uh, I don't see a dot net, but. I don't so. see a dot co dot UK. <laughs> you know what? I must have put in the, uh, sorry guys. No, that's right. Uh, I was just making sure I got the right list. <laughs> yeah, you guys got the right list. I guess I didn't. Okay. We got New York 20 City domains, 17.com, 1.io, 2.org. That's right. All right. You want me to go? Yes, please, sir. Okay, so overall, I don't. I'm not impressed with the list. Um, I mean, I've been real mean before, and I and I apologize to those people that I, I may cry. But um, <laughs> I, I like. There's a couple in here that I think are are decent. Um, like Nooker, N O O K E R. I I think that can make a, a decent brand. It's short. Um. I am so sad. I mean, it has a negative connotation, but as, as far as this list goes, I, I, I like that as a, um, you know what it is. Like, I'm, I'm so sad. Uh, maybe it's a counseling thing or a, a pill or something to make you feel better. Or maybe it's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cannabis brand. Like, I'm so sad. Here you go. Is there so something good. wrong with me? All I thought it was memes. I thought it was hilarious. Um, and I like um, Caracate. I don't know if it's an actual word, but I think it makes a good brandable for like uh, cartoons or you know uh, the the where you draw your caricature. Yeah, caricature. Yeah, caricate. I, that's I don't know if that's what it is. It sounds like it would be. Um, so those those are the main ones that I like. I, I think there's some like take Putin.org, right? It's got the highest estimate, ten thousand. But I don't. I mean, I don't see anybody making an organization for. For Putin, like I, so, I just don't think it's going to sell. Probably sell wholesale. I just don't know whoever's going to buy it. You know, and I could be wrong, but on a you know on a retail, um, they're going to pay for it anonymously in Bitcoin. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other ones, like 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 cheap noodle. I don't, who want? Nobody wants a cheap noodle. Um, cheap ladies. Nobody wants a cheap lady. <laughs> um, never say never. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but they're not going to buy the domain. They might want a cheap lady, but they don't want the dot com. You know, they just want the. I get maybe, but use a better way to do it, even if that's what you're selling, right? <laughs> uh, affordable ladies, or <laughs> <laughs> so those have better connotations. Um, I don't know if you want. If you're looking for, you know, a cheap date with leopard skin, and yeah. you know, happy to go out to dinner to. Uh, KFC. <laughs> I think we're getting, real, com. we're getting really uh, niche, though. Tinder already has that. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have to pay. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, did he freeze? I think he froze. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's bad. Um, like, it, it just some... it's, oh, mine says my internet connection is unstable. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, just froze for a now. second. So, oh, so you... So you, you um, Big Brother is censoring you for, yeah, putting down cheap ladies. <laughs> no, I think it was Putin. It's the Russians. They're oh, getting yeah, no, that's definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got to set these on fire after this is over. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so some of the other stuff, just like from a learning standpoint here, like they're just like not going to be brands, it, it, and that's the main thing, right? We talk about all the time. What a company want this? Would somebody, and and I am probably able to find obscure stuff in, in a lot of things that other people can't. But like, I don't know what anybody does with standard roof. Um, change your loan. Okay, here, so here's, you're talking about the money industry, right? Like the, they're gonna spend a little bit more money, unless it's some kind of affiliate thing, then change your loan. It doesn't sound right. Like it's doesn't, so 
there's a, there's a finite number of those companies, I would think, that um, are going to want something a little bit better that flows better than change your loan. So, I mean, it's out, like it's like it's in a big industry, big money loans, but not everything is going to work. I mean, I, I just don't I don't see anybody buying it. Um, it's another thing like kitten kitten treats is a little bit off, like kitty treats maybe, but I, I don't know. There you're getting real niche, right? Real specific. You're going to sell kitten treats or trap you know treats for cats and how many of those companies are there they're, they that company that buys it's not going to want just just this kind of one-off variation i i wouldn't think so that's my take on the, the portfolio okay thank you yeah that's uh, that's i think really helpful because sometimes it's hard to to understand well what's wrong with um you know with with some of these like and to hear it helps investors i think to just tweak um just that little bit that they're they're shy on um drew you're next what are your thoughts what what would you renew um okay so yeah i i don't i'm not a big fan here uh but there are a few that i would you know that i would probably also buy and therefore certainly would renew um putin.org uh, I think that him being such a controversial figure, and if you really have a death wish, um, you know, there's probably, you could probably attract a lot of traffic. There's probably, you know, uh, you could make a fan site, you can make a hate site, you can make, you know, probably a lot of different things. You might sell Putin t-shirts. Um, there was one last year that was super popular. It was a Putin t-shirt. He had some expression. It was actually really good. It was like a positive, I forget what it was. I'm my already boss, Googling it. My, my old boss from the fish business had it on. I feel like we're going to get poisoned just talking about this. Yeah, I was going to so, say, yeah. I'm, I'm all for, don't do a hit site. I don't support that at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I think, you know, whatever. I, I, I don't know that I want to own Putin.org. I just think it's not worth the headache even though it probably doesn't mean anything, nobody cares, and he probably doesn't give a shit. But on the off but, chance he wakes up and has a bad day one day, like, you know, and he's like, son of a bitch, thinks he owns Putin.org, you know, we're going to show him. I but do you, think, that. do you think they're, they're, um, that would sell to another domain investor? Do you think that would sell to another third party? Or do you think Juan's only chance to recoup the money would be for him to develop a t-shirt site or whatever? I think, uh, no, I think that it's, you know, it's probably a hot potato and somebody else, some other domain would buy it. They'll look at the Estebot. They'll look at the Estebot at 10,000 yeah. and buy it. Exactly. Okay. Um, so I, 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 you know, it, it's, it's worth renewing, but I'd probably try to, you know, sell it. Um, did you look, I kind of like that name. Like, not bad. You know, like, you know, made you look, you know, like the, the, um, um, uh, I don't know, kind of game you play with the kid, you know, made you look, um, I, I don't know. Did you look, I, I feel like it could be like, you know, like back in the day there was, um, consumption junction and it was like, you know, cats in a microwave and horrible stuff. And it was like, you know, it's like, did you look? You know, and everybody's guilty pleasure. They're like, no, I didn't look. Sure. You did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I just kind of like it. I don't think it's very valuable, but I just kind of like it. Um, okay. Uh, price per click. You know, it is, it's a thing, right? And it's a multi-billion dollar industry. It's like, cost per click. I mean, it's like, a, it's off. It's Yeah. Yeah. PPC, yeah. pay-per-click. I don't know. I, it has value. It's not a name I'd let expire. Let's say that. It's not a name I'd pay a lot for, but I wouldn't let it expire. Um, you know, then you have the four letter. Four letters a four letter, but I don't think it's much more than just another four letter. Uh, that's about it. That's, that's pretty much the only thing on here I like. Um, I think cheap noodle. I don't even think he owns. I think I don't even think it's registered. Okay. Um, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> um, well, okay. One, you make a blog about ramen, 
and you want to, you know, call it cheap noodle. Fine. It's a, it's a fun site, but maybe somebody's going to pay 50 bucks for that. That's it. Yeah. Well, like, it's like cheap noodle. It's like, okay, so you are a decidedly cheap ramen place. So that means you're selling ramen for like 30 cents instead of 15. <laughs> yeah. Like two bucks. that's like the, the deluxe lunch special is two fifty with a Coke and a, you know, it's got real, it's got real scallions in it. Not just the hydrated one. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, you know, even if you're like the most popular restaurant in town, what are you going to pay for cheap noodle.com? You know, like, uh, I, I just don't, I don't, you're going to get, you're going to get the net if this is taken and it's plural. You want the plural anyway. And this is, it was, it was hand registered in May. Um, by, by Juan. So I actually disagree went. on the, on the, on the plural. Oh, you like the singular but better? For me, but for me to explain to you why it would require some. I want a whole, I want a whole theory. show on singular. No, we could do a whole show on noodle or a noodle on plural, not plural. We, we talk yeah. about that all the time. That's, no, 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 no. But on. specifically on this one, it oh, was, it I got you. some non politically correct discussion. Uh, I got you. So I'm going to avoid. <laughs> um, would Putin like this conversation? Um, no. Okay, Shane, your turn. All right, well, I, I figured if Josh didn't like it, because this is his wheelhouse. I mean, these are, he knows this type of name well. I picked these names for Josh. Um, so, well, it, the great thing about Josh is if he doesn't like it, he'll give you 74 alternative names that you can have for the same price that would sell better with experience behind it. I did that uh, a couple of reviews ago. Nobody, nobody commented that they bought any or anything, so I, I don't know. Well, they never, they never comment. They just buy them. Every the time you one, put it up, I notice they all get registered. The one time they did because the guy messaged me. He's like, I just sold all these on name pros. So he just <laughs> <put them> away. <laughs> yeah. But, I remember he bought them off of the list you put on, on the comment section, and then he flipped them on name pros immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I knew that if you didn't like them, and I'm in the same boat, I, I do think Putin I would definitely keep – it's your one chance in this that I think that somebody that is a fan or somebody with Bitcoin in Russia that's going to give you a Bitcoin for it. So that I definitely keep. The rest are just, I mean, if you're going to do an online bank, you're not going to call it online bank. That's just, you know, when you build it, we get back it, to that. It was surprising, though, that that one actually had so much search. Well, I'm like sure why? they're searching for an online bank, and I get, you know, I guess I you know, could. Why? Who's it? Why? I don't know. Yeah. So I have that a. Confuses me. Bank Five Connect. I have a. Uh, it's it's in Massachusetts. It's right. They're my, one of my main banks. Um, it's completely online. There's no branch within 700 miles, um, and so I, I deposit my checks with the app. Um, everything takes goes through the app, and it's completely online for me. Um, I could. I, if I had to, I could send them a check or whatever. And if I, I, I got a certified check from them one time, they just overnighted it. But that, that is a completely online bank as far as I'm concerned. So that's why people are searching for it. Yeah, online banking is huge. I mean, a lot of my accounts, I don't have, a, I don't have anybody here. I mean, I don't have a branch. I'm saying that I, that's the term I used to, to search for it because I, I wanted something that was just online, not brick and mortar here. No, so, but I mean, would you name your company that? That's where we oh, talk about generic. Oh, I thought you were saying like why it's a ridiculous term because it's. Oh it's no no no! I just you're not going to name your your company your bank onlinebank.io. You're gonna no. it could be a marketing name which sends you over to x.com in the old days. I mean, that was the first online bank. I remember x.com. I had a lot of money in it, um, and then it started to waver a little bit, and then the name then the X became more valuable than the uh, the bank itself. Yeah. It's since it's an IO, it could be an app. I mean, there's an outside shop that this could sell to somebody crazy, you know, just because I, I look at the stuff I sell and the people will pay for anything. Right. No, so that, that could be the case for every single name on this list. When well, I mean, that's that's the of it. Yeah. He, he could sell kids casual for $3,800 tomorrow. You, you don't know, but we're, you know, the reason we talk about this is this, it's like, eat this, not that we, there's some general principles we follow that give us a better chance of success. And most of these names, if we were scanning through a list of 10,000 names on a daily basis, which we do, we would pass most of these names up. Sure. So that just tells you what we think about it. And I don't think they're the worst name. We've had much worse lists, but it does seem like a hand reg list for the most part. I don't see him paying 
hundreds of dollars for any of these. I actually like kitten treats the best. Really? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Not the best. I just thought, you know, if I was selling kitten treats, I would, or kitten treats, I'd just forward it to my kitten treats. Cause you know, cat people are cat people, man. They, that's all they talk about is their kittens and their cats and they buy them stuff. They treat them like children, even more than puppies and dogs, but it's not worth anything. I don't see anything there. Okay. Statistically, statistically, I think this is a decent list compared to, uh, because we were talking, you know, we, we got up to like 25% ish that we would renew. So if that, and here's the, here's a good point to take away. Like if he can sell one of those, he's going to pay for the rest of it and, and then move on. Um, this is, it's, it's a, it's a dynamic process. It's not, you're not in a static environment where you all of a sudden you have to pay for all these renewals you, he sells one, you, you upgrade the, to better names as you're going to let the shitty ones drop. It's a process. So I think it'll be all right. And he could sell a CERJ for $120 and cut a renewal for... No, that one's not bad. He, I bet he can get more than that eventually. Um, it's, it's kind of... Well, I mean, if he just put it out on GoDaddy or uh, MainJet. Is that what four L's are going for now? A hundred bucks? Well, 120 if it's a JQK... Yeah, it doesn't go for too much. I mean, that's, that's a small point. That's, that's quasi pronounceable, though. True. Yeah. No. So it would go for more than one hundred and twenty dollars. But I'm saying he could if he didn't renew the the .dot .io's at what twenty five dollars or something. I should have sold all those damn things to the the, the Chinese guys that were emailing me two yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we I think we could do a whole show on should have could have. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm the dot. God. I'm the dot. Ws guy for one freaking bad move, and yeah. on my grave it'll say billionaire, but sold dot or but pushed dot ws. He's yeah. Dead. You dragged me down with you, buddy. I, I dragged I the whole freaking world. I, I still hear my wife still makes fun of it. I'll say, hey, we should go out for pizza, and she'll go, oh, yeah, whatever. Dot ws. You make great decisions. Yeah. Oh! I, still, I still get it. I you, still. You, you, you dragged me in there. I, I, I went, I've still, I'm still sitting on those things, renewing them. Oh. <laughs> We're all in there. And then I doubled down. I, I was pushing them too. I was like, oh, man. Well, but you know what? Honestly, really, it was all a, um, it was just all a symptom of the whole Chinese bubble. Yeah. It was just China was buying up everything. And if it was short and, uh, you know, commoditized, it, was, you know, it had value. It could be sold. Yeah. And that it was value a was it. it was just going up. I it, was just, it was like it was like a, it was like a black hole. It was just sucking up every other class of domains that wasn't you know unique. Was just being sucked into this black hole of like Chinese speculative commoditization of domains. And yeah, I don't know. We we you know. I had, important. I had the four L, the WS four L, really good pattern. I had that that whole market cornered. <laughs> that worked out. God. It was, it was a lot that of worked out for you. Yeah, that I'm worked out. The keywords now in .com. Like this is, it's a good, it's a learning lesson, right? I'm not messing with anything else. Just go with what works, pivot a little bit, and stick with what works. That's the lesson here. No and doubt. this is part of the growth in the industry. So it's not like um, just because you know, like Josh, you're saying we. Uh, these experts here today would renew 25% of that portfolio. That's pretty good. So get rid of the other 75%, make your money, and just keep growing, keep leveling up. Right, and yeah. that's what, you know, it's a risk to ask for feedback. And the fact that all of you bought a bunch of stupid domains and can laugh about it today, but you leveled up. You just continued to grow and learn, and so can everyone who's watching this. Yeah, I'm going to make some stupid ones. <laughs> I got more stupid de decisions coming up. I guarantee it. But you know, that's just how it works. You you venture off the path a little bit to see if you can make some money. And you know, the the, the difference for me, what really kind of upset me is. I say everything from like the last 10 years, I talked about buying four letters. Everything I did, I talked about what I did. But when it goes wrong, people say, oh, you're pushing this. I pushed everything. Everything I've ever done, I type out every single night. So if you want to pick at the bad, that's an easy shot. So it, it doesn't bother me. It's only my pocketbook that got hurt. But 
you know, it's still, it is funny. You know, you can see the celebrities or, or I'm not a celebrity. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying you can do a hundred good things, but the negative is so it's going to be on your grave is the one bad thing. They don't, they don't know. But that's life. Yeah. There you my, have my, my boss uh, in the fish biz used to tell me, you know, I don't care how much you've sold this year. What have you done for me today? Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> Yeah. That was it. It was, you that's, know, it, that's it, how the banks were during, I remember in 2008, you know, we're doing millions of dollars a year, tons of profit. And I say, I'd like to get a loan to expand. Yeah. Well, next year's different. You may do no dollars. I go 30 straight yeah. years. We've increased our revenue. Yeah, next year may not be that case. They, they don't care about yesterday. They don't nah, give you money on history. They give yeah. it on now. Yep. Yeah. And, um, Okay, so Juan, big thank you for submitting your portfolio for the Sherpa Network to learn here. Um, I hope the review has been helpful for you in your domain investing activities going forward. And, um, and I know that we'll keep in touch, you and I, and see how this advice has helped you change your strategies going forward as well. So we'll move on to the marketplace list. Um, over at Namejet, we have 14 domains, 12.com and 2.org. Um, heading to auction soon. If you like one of the names below, just click through soon because once they go to auction, you lose your chance to put in a minimum bid or even just watch what's going on. Um, so for transparency, let's just ask the Sherpas real quick if you own or are brokering any of the names below. I don't think nope. so. No. Okay. And just a reminder, I try not to do it every single time to bore our Sherpa network, but this is a great time to press pause. I really challenge you if you've never done it or haven't done it in a while, um, just press pause, look at the list yourself and pick, pick your top three, bottom three, price them and come back and listen to the Sherpas. Um, it only takes, gosh, maybe a minute. Um, but taking that moment grows your perspective. Once you've actually committed your mind to thinking it through and then hearing the Sherpas perspective, that's what helps you evolve your thought process to that next level. Um, so this segment, um, what is it, Shane, I think you're first, uh, no, Josh, you're first. So Josh, what are your thoughts here? Um, um, so there's a couple of good ones. There's a couple of good, uh, single word, like, um, pavilion bracelet. I think there's a good, as far as like my favorite open vessel type name that, that, that I think would sell quicker than pavilion or bracelet uh, bracelet maybe you, that, that I think it, I can think of some tech stuff that bracelet would be good for but but chili pepper ch chili pepper is my favorite as far as like a open vessel brandable um because that could be I mean it could be a chili pepper or it could be uh, a blowfish you know whatever so but um I don't like bad credit mortgages it's plural I don't know what, you know bad credit mortgages nobody uh, I mean I don't know it's uh Affiliate uh, marketplace, it's uh, whatever. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a use for it. Maybe it's not horrible, but I'm not buying it. Um, obviously, like I said, bracelet, I think, is a, is a good one. It can be some kind of like tech thing, a medical alert, whatever. There's lots of uses for it, more so than pavilion, which has the highest. No, no. Oh, bracelet does. The second highest is a pavilion, right? And so, I mean, if I can see something, it's a, a gathering place, right? Like it's a, it's a, it's a rental. It's something. It's a, it's a structure that you temporarily use to have a picnic. So, right. So, it, it's it's kind of, but then you get there's a lot of like double L's and vowels all mixed in there. It's a little bit harder to spell, like like as in um like uh, gorilla. It's kind of hard to spell because there's different gorillas and you know. Um, but I think I've almost I've gone through too many of them too quick. So <laughs> somebody else can go. That's okay. Shane, what do you think? Well, I think un unemployment is the one that I hate those kind of names. It's a typo. There's no P in it. And I double checked it to go on there and that those kill people because we obviously missed it. And somebody on name jet, I think send us a list and they miss it. And 13 people have bid on it. And uh, without the P, it's just not quite as valuable. So unemployment is not as good as unemployment. So uh, that's what you got to be careful. You know, when we're scanning sheets at midnight, going through the names, that P appears in our mind. There's, yeah. you know, that's the big problem. It's, it's proven that they can write a sentence out, pulling out letters, 
and we can read that sentence just like all the letters are in there. Our mind puts it in there. So be careful. That's a word of, of warning there. So unemployment or unemployment in this case, skip it. Don't do it. Yeah, and I would say chili Although, pepper too. I don't sell chi I don't spell chili pepper with two L's. Do you guys? No. I looked it up. Uh, I don't I, think I, so. I, I looked it up specifically to check, and it, it, there was most people were two L's. I thought. Were they doing it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's I, all right. I yeah, think I think, I think it's a normally one, but I mean again, that's so that's where I was heading is chili pepper. I it looks right and it feels right, but I I think one L does too. Um, so you got to be careful on those kind of brands. You're going to lose half your traffic to the people. Oh, that's yeah, British. I, I like. I mean, just as an object, as a thing, and, and that being the word, that's why I like it. But yeah. Yeah. There's some confusion there. And Chili's, doesn't it, the restaurant spell it with one L? I think they spell it with one L, Chili. So I just looked it up real quick. It says the American spelling is the one, the British English is two. So, thought, but there is actually more search volume for the, for the two L's. British okay. love their chili peppers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's not a lot of search for either one, but, but yeah. the, the two, like, two L's does have almost double the amount of search. Yeah. It's a good brand. I mean, if, again, if it wasn't for that, I, I love the name. Bracelets, obviously. You, you know, we don't have to talk about bracelets. It, it's a good one. Uh, although now that we're talking about that, the E doesn't look right, but I know it is, right? So I know that's how you spell bracelet. But that's a, that's a big brand. You know, it could, there's so many uses for it. Uh, pavilion, same thing. Uh, we have a pavilion in our town that's a big medical center. That's uh, a drug rehab center that's really large. So. If there's one in our town, that means there's 10,000 other ones around the world with the same name. So lots of, mm -hmm. lots of use there. You know, living home is, um, is okay. I do like painless. You've heard me say this on the show and on the blog. Pain and love, that's where the money's at. People will spend yep. any amount of money to get rid of pain and any amount of money on love. And so yep. people that are in, that are in pain... You know, they will search all day and night to get rid of it on the internet. And painless is a word that they're looking for. Uh, or sound medical. Pardon me? I said it was a good, I'm sorry. It was a good, good match with the org. That's yeah, it. org is great. It sounds medical when you put the org onto it. So I love that name. I, you know, I think a build out is going to have to be to really monetize it. But a, it's a million dollar name if you build it out when it comes to pain. We had a little discussion before the show about uh, managing pain and how uh, difficult it's become in today's market uh, with with all the different things you can use. Um, again, the the general, like I don't get red shirts. I'm not a big Star Trek. As a matter of fact, you had to put in our list, this is a Star Trek name. Um, yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know that the red shirt, Comic-Con, uh, Star Trek, and we have people wearing them to work. So obviously it's pretty big <laughs> to people. <laughs> like she's wearing a Star Trek shirt to work, uh, the whole full uniform. So obviously that's a, that's a decent name to the people that like it. Uh, it's not a bad list at all. It's obviously they picked some of the better names, Cryptoholics that two years ago, that would have been a huge name, not as big as it is now. I'll leave the rest to Drew. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, I was just trying to find out how many Star Trek fans there are. Oh, there's a and lot. Apparently, there's a big controversy if you're a Trekkie or a Trekker, which I didn't know. But I know those fans are very um, uh, enthusiastic. And, um, uh, yeah, red shirts um, seems like a great, uh, especially if there's some controversy between Trekkie and Trekker, you can just be a red shirts Duh. I don't know anything about the Star Trek, but it makes me think of college football. That's why. That's all I think. Yeah. Of. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, Drew, your turn. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean, we've kind of hit it all. Um, you know, uh, bracelets, the obvious one. Um, I thought you would call it on cryptoholics. Well, I, I do like cryptoholics. Actually, I think that I think. You know, I think it's very applicable because there are people who are super addicted, just like we've got domainer holics. Um, but um, I think we own domainaddiction.com, actually. Um, but yeah, no, I like cryptoholics. But I mean, you know, the the reality is like, yeah, sure, I love it if I paid sixty nine dollars for it, and it probably sixty nine dollars in the toilet because what are you gonna like? Who's where's the business model? You know. Um, 
Uh, unless the whole thing implodes, and then you can do like crypto rehab on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, you know, Pavilion. I feel like I, has that been run like several times. I feel like we've discussed Pavilion like on three. It has. This is not the first go through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think it's a little bit tricky to spell for the average Joe like me. Um, uh, I like red shirts, but I, you know, I don't know. I, if it's got a strong connotation with like, you know, some theme like Star Trek already, then it might not be ideal for branding, but I, I kind of like it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I really like that chili pepper, but yeah, the two spellings hurts it. Like if you don't own both, you've just got this constant liability hanging over your head. You got it. You got to own both spellings. But if you do own both spellings, I think it's a great brand. Um, you know, it's spicy. Um, and Microfusion, I don't even know if that's a thing, but it sounds awesome. So like, it sounds like it should be some unknown Silicon Valley billion dollar, you know, Silicon wafer company. Um, I don't know. Just microfusion. It just sounds important. Yeah, uh, yeah, it does. It sounds so if it, if it is something, if it's not complete bullshit or comes from Star Trek, then I like it. I think it could be a great brand. It's one of those yeah. names. It's like probably pick it up relatively cheap. You'll probably never sell it. But if you do, you know, you, it's like you shoot for the moon. It's like, you know, the guy that, you know, the guy that's going to step up and say, I, you know, this is going to be my name. It's like, you know, it's the next Microsoft. You yeah. Want, you know, it's like, you want to be Microfusion? I want, like, what, what's the Dr. Evil thing? What does he do? With his, <laughs> One like, billion dollars. One billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I kind of like that one. The un the, uh, so unemployment, obviously, typo, you know, I, I, I'm not going to go out and recommend it to anybody, but it has an overture score, and so I think it does get some traffic, and not to welcome any more hate mail than I already get, but the folks, very generally and non-politically correctly speaking, the folks who are looking for the unemployment online, or how to collect their unemployment, um, you know, they're probably prone to typos. And um, my guess is that name gets more type in traffic than it did in 2006 when that overture score last was recorded. My guess is that name gets 30 to 50 type ins a day. And that traffic is valuable. Um, so they don't have any money. They don't have a job. It doesn't matter. They're, they're not paying for anything. Marketing bullshit services to them. And, yeah, but Indeed.com um, and Monster.com, they're making money. <laughs> yeah, so I think um, uh, I think that name's got probably a little bit of value for the guy that wants to roll the dice. Um, but it's not resale value. It's purely monetization value. Um, and I have no idea what that value is. And so, again, I do not recommend anybody buying it. I'm just saying that there is a alternative value to that name that – you know, beyond just yeah, you know, yeah, trying to convince somebody that it's the proper spelling of unemployment. Um, now, what about game notes? I'm surprised nobody brought that one up. I mean, I looks like too everyone, generic. huh? Yeah, too generic for not enough. Like, I only like these really generic names if the category they're talking about very specifically is big enough to warrant it. So, you know, used cars like. I don't love used cars as a brand, but considering used cars is like, I don't even know how big that market is, but it's at least tens of billions of dollars. Um, that's, you know, you're talking about something that's worth tens of billions of dollars. <laughs> You've got a market. I'll, I'll take usedcars.com all day. I'll take the .net and the .org and maybe even the .info with it. Um, but game notes, like, no. 
no thank you. Like, hey, so Game Notes has 1.05 billion results in Google. The first result is MLB.com Game Notes. There's ESPN Game Notes, but mo there's no trademark that I see, although I'm not an attorney, on uh, Game Notes. And, but most of the suggested searches are like Red Sox Game Notes or um, baseball game notes, um, so a little more specific. I seriously, I mean, look, at $69, I take that name all day. At $250, mm, you know, like that. Um, if you get it cheap, then, yeah, I mean, sure, I like the chances, but. So, so how about this? Um, not a highlight name for me. Let's think about like the last five portfolios we've reviewed. We've pretty much said, Meh, don't renew very much at all, if at all, right? They yeah, Game all Notes is probably an upgrade for most of those. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. Game Notes would be the best name on every list that we've looked over the last yeah. six shows. So yeah. what, so of the list that we've looked at at the last bunch of shows that we've said like that, if you said pour all your money into one of these domains for $250 or less, would you say that about every single name on this list? Yeah. Um, uh, no. No. Okay, what would you not say it about? Because it's almost all of them, right? Yeah. Um, Any rectile pills? I don't. Yes. You're never going to sell that to anybody. Nobody's buying that name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I can't believe that hasn't been spammed out. It probably was spammed out already. It probably is. Out. Yeah, probably you can't deliver email on that domain anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's I mean it's a billion dollar industry too. That's what people look at. Erectile yeah, that's not what they're yeah. searching for. They're searching for, you know, erectile dysfunction yeah. or Viagra. Or cheap ladies. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sell them together, make it a combo. But I I I'd buy game notes all day. I mean, I it's a good name. It's it's you know, if you get it cheap enough that we talked about that thirty eight hundred dollar buy it now, there's gonna be some e gaming, you know, e gaming and all that is huge. It probably won't be a baseball, you know, post game transcript or notes. It's, it's sports betting. What about what about sports betting? Game notes? I mean that wouldn't yeah. be I mean it, there's a, it could go to all that. So it's a huge, huge broad category. It, it's you know, for the right price, just like Drew said, I put it there, throw it in the after Nick program and I think you do just fine. Mike, here's another question. What do you think? I think bracelet goes for ten grand plus easy at name jet. Do you agree yeah. with that? I, I don't know if it's got a reserve or not, but I, I would say it goes for a lot more than that. I mean, yeah. bracelet.com, well, yeah, I would pay I mean, I'd pay fifty without even looking at without even doing any homework. Yeah. I might pay materially more than that. Um, yeah. No, I mean that's and, and the one thing I've noticed is there's big money for the single word. Like if it's a, what was it? Uh, Al, no, is it Albert Elmer? Like Elmer yeah. at any name. You know, nobody's I name liked Elmer. Name. I was bidding on Elmer. But the thing yeah. is, is, you know, it, it's a trademark risk because the Elmer's glue and. Yeah. Well, I, I knew, know. I don't really get into it, but you, you know, when you know who's bidding on the other side. Yeah. You're like, oh, this isn't going to end well. Yeah. It's, it's uh, I mean, you can get the name. Everybody's got a final price, but that final price is a lot higher for some people. And you think, well, do you want to hide your name when you're bidding? Do you want your handle to be who you are so everybody knows? And when you when you got some cash behind you, go ahead and put your name right out there. Let everybody know. It goes both <laughs> ways. It's, it's already at what. 20 grand. It's at 20 grand now. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll yeah. tell you what, it goes both ways, you know, I, and I've, I've done a lot of thinking on this, right, because more or less everybody knows what, what my handle is on, on NameJet or Snap Name. well, I don't even use Snap anymore, but, you know, Drop Catch, whatever, and so, um, you know, I, I put a lot of thought into, is it better to, like, keep changing up the name so people don't know who I am, or is it better to, that people know, and then maybe sometimes that intimidates somebody, um, and I think that it's basically a wash because sometimes it's going to help you and somebody's going to be like, ah, oh, man, he's going for it. I'm not even going to bother because he'll pay more than I'll pay. And then there's other times where somebody wants to get a little prickly and they're like, well, I'm going to just bump him up just to fuck with him or just because 
you know, I know he probably got a higher proxy or... Or to say, I beat Drew Rosner at auction. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's some of that. So... Um, or they're, they're pissed at you and then every game that you're, you're bidding on, they just bid it up. I mean, that's... Yep. Danger too. And yep. I think, honestly, I think it's... I think you're missing one point. I think it's a respect. When people see Taryn on a name, Jet name, they go, well, shoot, if he likes the name, then it can't be too bad a name. I was on the fence whether I like it, but if I see media options yeah. or I see... Drew on there. Well, I'm, now I'm more comfortable with it because if he likes it, he knows what he's doing. So I'm going to bid on it too. And I, I see that all the time. And I'll even say I've been in certain ones where I go, well, shoot, Taryn's with me. I, I'm going to keep going because if they like the name, they got tons of sales history to say that this is worth owning. So I'm going to keep rolling. So I think it, that's where it gets you to. Yeah. Yeah, good call. Hey, guys, thank you. Um, we are at the end of today's show. Um, before I give you each an opportunity for a shout out, um, let's talk about the NamesCon ticket. Um, I, think, um, I think I liked my idea of guessing on Shane's traffic for a week. Um, do, you, uh, do you, No? Okay, Drew, come up with no. something. Come up with, a, come up with a, like a sales price on bracelet. Final price. When's it close? Yeah, so, okay, that's, I like that. That's a good idea. All right, so. When's it end, Josh? You, you were looking at it. Yeah. Um, is there a reserve on it? Yeah, 50 to, 50 to 75. It, it ends wow. in uh, uh, nine days, 11 hours. Okay. I think, I think that's a very appropriate reserve. I think, I mean, yeah. you know, it might be I on agree. a line at the higher end of that, but it's still even there. I mean, I could easily see that going for – for more. Let's just uh, say with the final ending price at the auction, yeah, whether it sells whether, or not. Whether it sells or not, I think, uh, put, your, put your answer in the comments, and the person who gets the closest is going to get a free ticket to, uh, to NamesCon. I, I like, like it. Okay, so just for our viewers, because we were filming today, but when it airs, it won't be nine days away. When it airs, I believe it will be three days away. I believe that. I believe that means it will end on Thanksgiving on Thursday, November 22nd, but I could be wrong, Ooh, but you can, that's a handicap. If it ends on Thanksgiving, uh, you, you, the, the price will be lower than otherwise. Yeah. Uh, the, the mainers, they'll bid while they're eating Turkey. There's yeah. not, those, we're crazy. There's no way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to double the price. Yeah. Cause then we got nothing else to do. Oh gosh, yeah. Just hitting the button. Everybody's drunk at home. Drew said I'd get a yeah, good deal on it. Thanksgiving morning Thanksgiving. or Thanksgiving evening <laughs> could be a big difference. Right in the middle. I right think it'll middle, actually baby. be in the evening is my guess for most folks. So um, you can click through the link below to get the exact time. Um, so please don't trust us exactly. No, it'll but, be like midday. Um, yeah, then the, two, two to whoever, three. put yeah. in your comments what you think the ending T either the top bid or the actual sale price will be, and whoever is the closest will win a ticket to NamesCon. Whoop, whoop. Where um, we'll all be there, correct? Yep. Yep. Super cool. I am a little nervous putting together. Uh... Oh well, it's not my turn. Um, I well, think you go there's... first. You can start. Yeah. Ooh, look at me. What's She's new test? Or no? What's new test? There you go. <laughs> So I'm putting together, um, you know, since NamesCon began, they have always had a uh, Domain Sherpa panel um, live at the show, and um, I will be moder moderating it this year instead of our beloved uh, former owner, Mike Syker. So um, very exciting and uh, a bit nervous. I'll be calling Michael very soon for his advice, and um, that's, that's my news. Um, so stole your thunder, somebody, uh, Drew, you're up next. What's your news? What's going on? Uh, let's see. Um, not a lot of news, you know, um, we've got, uh, we've still got an auction running over at Namejet. Uh, we've got a, a whole bunch of names. We just actually put in more names, uh, almost, I think almost exclusively at no reserve. And, um, uh, that's about it. We've got a couple of, uh, couple of, uh, projects in the works that we'll uh, be able to talk about soon. Um, we've got, uh, we've got our new YouTube channel out. We've got three or four videos posted. We've gotten a lot of great feedback on that. 
Um, people, you know, people, not everybody has time to listen to a one to two hour Domain Sherpa episode. And so if you can, you know, get some nuggets uh, in a couple of minutes on one of those YouTube videos, uh, go to mediaoptions.tv and you can uh, see some of those very helpful and informative uh, clips. Um, and our and the Namejet um, media options domains for sale on Namejet can be viewed at www.x.co slash nj, correct? I believe that is correct. All right. Cool, man. Thank you much. Uh, how about you, Shane? What's going on in Illinois? Well, we get our Christmas trees in on uh, Friday. If you're in the area, we have uh, six foot to 10 foot, all Fraser firs. So anybody watching this, if you want to swing four or 500 miles east or west, come on by. I'll give you a great deal. Is but, it a very uh, busy time? Slowing right? down. Pardon me? Is it a very busy time at the nursery, like second it, busiest of the year? It, yeah, I mean, it's super busy, but it's, you know, it's a great time of year. Everybody's smiling this time of year when it comes to Christmas and buying trees. And, you know, for me, it's, I settle down a little bit. It's, it's, you know, being in your own business, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's exhausting. The more you, know, you think you get more employees and it's easier and it's actually just more to manage. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's tiring. I feel older this year than I ever have. Uh, it's, it, but it's a good time of year. It's starting to, to cool down and I don't have to work 80 hours a week. I can just do sell my Christmas tree. So it's, for me, it's great. You'll see me riding a lot more in the winter. I always ride a lot more. I'm going to Kenya again for the winter. So I'm, I'll be there for January and then come back just for, uh, for uh, the show for NamesCon. So I'm looking forward to, to going over there. It's a little longer than I'm used to in Kenya. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably be like 112 pounds by the time I get to Las Vegas. But um, I'm looking forward to a nice winter. And my daughter comes home from college. You know, you hear I write about my daughter all the time. But that's that's how life is. You, you raise your kids and they go away and it becomes kind of the top of your mind. So when you type out things, you're like, hey, domains. Gosh, I miss my kid. So my kid's coming home for Thanksgiving. So that's a, a big one. But if you want to read and hear about Josh and I are doing, bsad.com. We haven't missed a day now in three years since Josh's been aboard. Not one day. This is that's really cool. short ones. During NamesCon, there's a really tiny, tiny list. But yes, yeah, it gets a little. It just says good morning. That's our only post. Yeah. But that's great. One domain. Just post one, one domain pick and that's it. And good morning. Yeah. Very nice. And how about you, Josh? What's going on in your world? Um, so I, I've been doing the, just the working and, uh, catfishing, uh, a lot. <laughs> and not um, the kind where you get to pretend like you're somebody else. <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, yeah, actual, we caught, we caught a, my, my daughter was my partner the, uh, last week for a tournament. We got second place in the, the big fish in the lower Potomac of a 72 pound blue cat. Wow. Um, Jeez. Yeah. Wow. You have a picture? Yeah, it's it's my it's my my profile picture on my on Facebook if you want Very to check cool. it out. Very cool. Very um, cool. And so I mean, which that's that's fun. Um, and I went to another tournament after that with somebody else, and we and we didn't like the biggest fish we caught was like twenty two pounds. So I got to take her every time now, you know. So and the pictures are amazing. Like you look at it, it looks like somebody photoshopped. You know, Josh photoshops all that stuff. Yeah. Like. That's a, huge fish. fish yeah like the uh, the the record the maryland record is like in the 80s and there's some but then you have to kill it because it's uh so there's like some guys have been catching them lately for in the 90s close to 100 in that section of the atomic so that's for, those are the real records but they're not um they're not taking them in they're leaving them out there they're you know they're trophy fish there's no reason to kill them um it, nobody's eating them <laughs> that's uh, no, they're huge. You can tell when Josh is having a good domaining month because it starts looking at boats and something <laughs> to pull. <laughs> no, I, my boat is is a, it's pretty small uh, jet G three. It's a, it's not very big, and so uh, if there's if, if the wind starts blowing and I'm and I'm down there, it, it's tidal water um, in the lower Potomac. So I need something bigger if I'm gonna <laughs> far. Well, I, t I said, um, I told my daughter, I, I said, uh, look, if I fall out and drown, we're going to stay close here. You can at least swim. You get the, the, the good life vest. You can swim <laughs> or she's a better swimmer. So that's you what it's definitely need it. If you're having those conversations, it's time to sell some domains and buy a bigger boat. No, 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 no. Buy two good life vests. 
Great. <laughs> well, no, we have all the ones, but the, you know, it, the one that automatically inflates. Uh, that's, yeah, I guess I could get up on that. I gave her the auto auto inflate one, so if she fell in, she could. <laughs> oh man. Which I guess she could tie a rope to me or something, you know, just to, to my belt. I could, it's like, like hit my head. That's that's what I'm worried about. Hit my head and I and I float underneath. And um, wow, well, that sounds really fun. I hope you have something oh, all- place for passing along your domain names. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going all the way into death here. Um, I, I hope you have some set up. You take a nine-year-old out there with catfishing for these fish that are as big as her. I just want to have a plan if something happens. You know, like that, yeah. that fish could knock me into the boat. So I'm just, you know, she can, she can swim to to the shore. I mean, yeah. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm getting a little crazy now, but yeah. You can you can see what our group like DSAD. It's it's a crazy ass group. Josh and his fishing, and then Aaron's running hundred mile races, constantly running for literally 48 72 hours straight without sleeping and then travis can code the shit out of anything that's you can see the difference in all that you know we've, we've got all these weird crazy extra domain lifestyles and i think that's what makes it pretty fun yeah yeah it really does yeah okay guys um thank you so much for being here for all your time out of your very busy lives um uh, to our Sherpa network, if you receive benefit from today's show or you want to get in on your NamesCon free ticket opportunity, please post your comment below. Um, big thanks to Juan Gavira for submitting his portfolio. And remember, you can submit your portfolio via the link on Domain Sherpa. Big thanks to NameJet for submitting uh, their domain names and sponsoring us. And the biggest thanks of all to the three of you for your experience and insight. We will see y'all next time. Thank you. Bye, guys.